Hello and welcome to another MindFish.com hard math question uh, video. So we're going to be taking you through another hard math question from the official guide, our official SAT study guide. Again, strongly recommend that you buy this book and practice from it. Really good practice questions. However, there aren't explanations, so we're trying to provide you some of the harder math question explanations. So this question is question 19 on section 3, uh, page 586. So it was one of the last two math questions on a section, you expect it to be fairly difficult. So first I'm going to solve it kind of with the uh, more uh, precise way, and then I'm going to show you a good way to estimate if you weren't uh, able to do that. So this is a, a sector of a circle question. So if you go to myfish.com and you check out our circles video, uh, and you look at the sector of a circle, that's really where we address this. So I'm going to take you kind of through uh, what, we, what we kind of go over in that video as well. So the idea here is that a sector of a circle the angle of that sector determines the fraction of the circle that it represents. So the fact that this is 30 degrees tells you that it's 1 12th of a circle, because a circle has 360 degrees. Now, that's really important because we now know that the area of this little sector, A, is 1 12th of the area of the entire circle. So now, with all circle questions, the key is the radius. We have to get the radius. So what information did they give us? They gave us this. They gave us that this distance was 6 pi. So if that's 6 pi, that 6 pi has to be 1 12th of their circumference. Because if this little angle is 1 12th of the circle, then this little area is 1 12th of the entire circle's area. So from that, we would cross multiply, and we would solve that the circumference of the circle is 72 pi. Now, we know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, and so now we know that r is 36. And this is really what you're always driving for. You're always trying to get your radius, okay? Because once you have your radius, you can really move in any direction you want. Now, how do we get the area of a circle? Well, the area of a circle is pi r squared, which is going to be pi times 36 times 36. Now, we don't want the area of the entire circle. We want the area of the sector, which is? 1 12th of the circle. So we're going to divide by 12. This would cancel out and leave a 3. And that would be 108 pi, which is answer choice A. So the equation that I essentially used when I did this was that the angle over 360 is equal to the area of the sector over the area of the circle, which is pi r squared, which is also equal to the to the arc length of the sector divided by 2 pi r. So that's kind of the equation that will allow you to move from any one piece, whether they give you area of a sector or area of the length of the sector or the area of the circle, whatever they give you, this equation will basically get you there. And the idea, again, is that you're trying to make sure that the piece is proportional to the whole or the, the piece as a proportion of the whole is equal to the same as the angle to the entire circle. So 360, 30 is the 360 as the arc length is to the entire arc length. Now this is again a pretty challenging circle question. So I know a lot of you going like, wow, it's a lot of, it's a lot of math. Okay, fine. Here is another way we could do this, okay? So one of the really powerful things you can do on the SAT to kind of get around some hard questions is take advantage of the fact that if they don't say not drawn a scale, this bad boy is to scale. Now, since I drew it, it's not going to be exact, but if you go to your book and you measure, you, should, you can be able to prove uh, that the following lengths are rough estimates. So 6 pi is roughly equal to 19. If this distance is 19, then I'm going to approximate the height of this guy as Let's call it um, 18, okay? And I know it's a little bit generous, but it's, it's reasonable. Now, if I measured that as 18 on the, in the textbook, because it is to scale, and I determined what this length is, you'll find that it's two times that, so it's 36, okay? Now, what is the area of a triangle? And this triangle, essentially what we're doing is we're approximating the area to be the area of a triangle. So the area of a triangle is... 1 half base times height, which in this case would be 1 half 36 times 18, in this case would be 18 times 18, which would be 180 plus 80 plus 64, which would be 324. Now, looking at the answers, we expect to find an answer a little bit bigger than 324 because we didn't, in our estimate, we weren't including this. 
This is the only thing even close. So even though we had no idea how to do this as a sector of a circle, if we were willing to use the measuring approach, which is a very powerful approach whenever they don't say not drawn to scale, we could come up with an estimate as 324, and there's really only one answer that makes any sense. So whether you did it using the equation or whether you did it estimating, the point is you can get hard math questions. You just got to give yourself a chance, write some things down, and be creative and try to estimate when you don't know what to do. So hope to see you on some of our other MindFish.com hard math question videos. MindFish.com will help you ace the SAT. Practice for the test with SAT Quest, our online SAT quiz game with over 1,500 practice questions. Learn difficult SAT vocabulary words with short, funny, and memorable vocab clips on video vocab. We've got test prep pros from Harvard and Stanford standing by to give you the test prep guidance that you need. Master every concept on the test with SAT videos. MindFish.com, your resource for all you need to ace the test.